Howdy. I'm the old ranger, and Death Valley's my stamping ground. Many's the tale of adventure I'm going to tell you about the Death Valley country. True stories, mind you. I can vouch for that. Valley Day. Days. Now, 20 Mule Team products bring you Death Valley Days. Valley Days.
Death Valley Days, where Western history comes alive. With your host, Dale Robertson. Stories of the Old West, stories of hardships and adventure, of dreams and of courage. Stories of the American pioneer are all a part of our past, of our heritage. Howdy, folks. I'm the Old Ranger. It is the year 1863 at the height of the Civil War. Intelligence reports to Union headquarters indicate a secret society operating in San Francisco, which is sending money by the tens of thousands of dollars to the Confederate cause. It is vitally important that this committee of 30, as it's called, be broken up, and soon before the largest shipment of cash to date leaves the port. General Grant thinks he's found the man who can do it, Captain Lynn Parker, the Yankee Confederate. Howdy, folks, I'm the Old Ranger. In a short 18 months, the famous Dalton brothers had stolen much of the thunder from such men as the James boys and the Youngers. Now, October 4th, 1892, the West was about to witness one of the most violent gun battles when the Daltons rode into Coffeyville, Kansas and gambled on three minutes to eternity. Sometimes human hearts keep alive what the historians bury in footnotes. Did you ever hear of the United States Senator who won more lasting fame because of a dog than for anything he ever did in Washington? Well, the story's true. By the way, I play the Senator. Back in 1819, 93 years before New Mexico became the 47th American state, Spain still ruled the great Southwest and warned Yankees no trespassing. A young man from New England headed down the trail to Santa Fe looking for trade, not trouble. And he met a madman who believed that the only good Indians are dead ones. He felt the same way about Yankees. But David Merriweather remembered what the good book says, cast thy bread upon the waters, and he cast bread on the desert. The favorite game of chance out here in the West was poker. One of the most remarkable games changed the course of four lives. It involved a pair of jacks and a pair of queens. Add a joker as a wild card, and you have what's known in poker as a full house. The shimmering heat, the dust, and the longing for gold brought out the worst and the best of the men who sought fortunes on the desert in the 19th century. Men from totally different walks of life were thrown together. Unique friendships were made. And sometimes, a man's life depended on the faith of one who but a few days before was a total stranger. This is what happens in our story tonight, which took place in the Arizona Territory at early candlelight. <laughs> 